Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create that content art animated title. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so when that machine is over, I now on the edit page and first I'm going to bring a new fusion composition in my timeline and then we're going to move over to fusion. Once in Fusion, I'm going to start by bringing a new background and linking the output of that background to my media out. And then I'm going to bring the alpha channel down to zero. Then we're going to bring a new text node and link the output of that text node to the background one. In that text node, we're going to need to create a new control. So we're going to go over to text, right click. And then here we're going to just click edit control. It just prompt open this window. And here we're just going to rename it number. And then we're gonna go and select slider control and we're gonna select the range from zero to whatever max number you want to achieve. So here in my case, I'm just not really gonna put the limit. I'm gonna put like 1 million or 1 billion or whatever. So I basically have a cap that is very high. And then here in page, I'm gonna switch from user to text. So it appear directly onto our text tab. Here the page represents each tab. So you have user, common, image, layout, shading, transform, etc. This represent those tab right there. So right now I'm choosing to have it in the text tab. Then you can just click OK. And if we scroll down at the bottom of the text tab, we've created that slider. That range from zero to whatever number you've inputted. Now we're gonna link that slider to our text with an expression. To do that, I'm gonna right click on the text and then here we're gonna click expression. Here we're gonna delete what is written and here we're gonna write a simple expression to link the slider that we have down there to that text box. So we're gonna start with parentheses, then the name of the node. So here that will be text one. Make sure that you put the T in capital letter cause it's case sensitive. Then you can just do dot and write the name of your slider. So in our case, it's gonna be number with a capital N. So let's just do that. And then close the parentheses. And now as you can see, it's just displaying whatever value we have here on our slider. So we can just adjust that right here. Now you can just keyframe that value going from zero to whatever number you want and you will have your count up animation. That's the major principle that you need to remember. Now we're just gonna go to extra mile and do a few things to make it look nicer. So the first thing is that here, I would like to display dollars and not a simple number. So we're gonna complete our expression by just going at the beginning of the expression. And then here we're gonna do quotation mark, dollar sign, and then close quotation mark. And here two dots. And as you can see, we have the dollar sign appearing right before our number. So now we can just change those number and the dollar sign is staying the same. Now you can change that dollar signs for Euro or pound or yen or whatever you want. And it will work the same way at the end. So if you want to have the dollar sign at the end instead of at the beginning, you can just do dot dot, open quotation mark, then dollar sign and end quotation mark. And now you have the dollar sign at the end. All right, so now let's make it look nicer. The first thing I want to do is bring a box around my number. So here I'm gonna bring a new background and I'm gonna link the output of that background to my merge too. And then I'm gonna select that background and click on rectangular mask. Then I'm gonna untick solid and I'm gonna increase the border width to create a frame. Now I'm just gonna adjust the border of that frame to frame my number. Now I'm gonna adjust my corner radius to have a rounded corner. And then here, change the color from black to white. Now let's go back to the rectangle and make the line a tiny bit thinner uh, by adjusting the border width and reducing it. Then I'm gonna bring a new background in my timeline and I'm gonna unlink the output of the merge to the media out. And instead, I'm gonna link it to the blue arrow of the background and then link the output of that background to the media out. That just basically create a control that change the color of both of the text and the box at the same time. So now I'm just gonna switch the color from black to green. All right, so now we're gonna add some glow and shadow. So with still background three selected, we're gonna hit shift space on our keyboard and we're gonna search for glow, bring that in and then hit shift space on our keyboard again, search for drop shadow, bring that in. And then here we're simply gonna reduce the drop distance to bring it closer to our design. Then let's move on to the animation. We're first gonna go to frame 25 and then here drop a keyframe on the text on our number parameter. So here we're gonna choose whatever final number we want. In my case, let's just go with 257,000, for example. We're gonna drop a keyframe on that at frame 25 and then go at frame zero and bring the number down to zero. 
So now we already have on number counting up animation. Now let's move on to the rest. I'm gonna make an animation on the rectangle. So I'm gonna go at frame 25. I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the lens at one and on the position at zero. And then I'm gonna go to frame zero and drop a keyframe on the lens down at zero and on the position at minus 0 0.25. Also here, as you can see at frame zero, we still have a tiny dot. So I'm going to make a simple keyframe animation on the level being at frame one at level one and then bring at frame zero level at zero. And I would basically got rid of that excess dot on the first frame. It's just a simple detail, but in my opinion, that's what makes the difference between a good composition and a great composition. Now let's bring an ellipse mask over the text and link it to the text. We're gonna go to frame 25 and here drop a keyframe on the position. And then we're gonna go to frame zero and move that mask to uh, mask the number. Now I'm gonna go midway through that animation and then just increase a bit the soft edge until I get a result that I'm happy with. Right now in that case, 0 0.025 seems to be good. And then now I'm gonna make a simple keyframe on the text position and on the overall composition. So I'm gonna make some space here with my media out, select my drop shadow, hit shift space on my keyboard, search for transform, bring that in. Here at frame 25, drop a keyframe on center and then go to frame zero and change the center position to 0 0.45. Then I'm gonna go to my text one, go to frame 23, Go to layout, drop a keyframe on the center position, and then go to zero. And then here's 0 0.46. I'm not choosing the exact same value, just so I have a tiny bit of offset between the movement of the box and the movement of the text. Now let's just smooth out all those animations. So we're gonna go over to the spline. Then here I'm gonna select my ellipse. I'm gonna select my text one displacement. Just untick the number, cause I don't want to mess up with that. Select the rectangle level, position, length, and then here the transform. And now we can click zoom to fit with all all point, select all the point, hit S on our keyboard to smooth out the curve, then hit T to bring the ease in and ease out. And we're gonna bring the ease in up to 85. And now it's played, perfect, we got our animation. All right, and that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. There was a few different things that I find very interesting in doing that, like the rectangle animation and a few expression concepts that we've exposed in this video. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.